there uh, quarterback wise you might might have a top two now it was that is that just appearances or whatever? It looked like it was, you know, was Joe today. and Ben That was Braxton. today, maybe. But, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing is we're going to continue to challenge them guys mentally and, and move them around and see how they how they react and respond. I think that's uh, – everything will be a test. In other words, all, at least all the way through to the Jersey scrimmage and maybe beyond? Or do you, after yeah. the Jersey I scrimmage, mean, we do you want to get haven't, to... We haven't set dates, but, um, you know, on a daily basis, uh, kind of move them around just to see how they react. And, um, you know, that's the biggest thing about – Pretty much any position is yeah. how you react when when things happen, and whether that's moving from ones to twos or ones to threes, or uh, even if it goes in a different position, you know, from a from a tailback to a fullback, or from a linebacker to an end. I mean, just try to do things to challenge them mentally. Look, who's got the edge if, if there is between the O and the? Hopefully, D. I got an edge on it, but no. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's too hard to tell. I mean, the thing about camp is, you know, it, one day goes up, one day goes down. Um, someone has to win, someone has to lose. That's just the name of the game. So uh, I think we've all done our fair share of, of having our moments on um, both sides of the ball. Uh, but the most important thing is I think we've seen some consistency. And, uh, you know, the energy and effort has been there. And I think that's the thing that's been exciting. Has Balsman had a pretty good start to camp, though? I mean, have you, have you noticed, you know, I mean, has he kind of stood out a little bit? Or just what's your take on him? He has. I think he's done a great job. I think his, uh, his confidence level is up. I think his, uh, you know, you know you got the ability to do uh, a lot of different things. Yeah. But I think the biggest thing is that, that confidence ability or his confidence that kind of shows in the huddle um, as well as just emotionally, uh, he's been pretty solid. Luke, Andrew Norwell got on the field for you guys last year as a true freshman, and obviously looks like he's going to play an important role for you. Just what kind of what kind of kid is he, and how has he handled himself since he got to Ohio State? You know, I'm, I don't know exactly him as a kid, as a person, too as much, um, but I know that he, he is a tough guy. He is a guy that uh, probably a lot of what we talk about being, um, he kind of... Uh, that's pretty normal for him. So I think that's the thing that excites us the most. I mean, I know he's got ability. I, you know, I remember from high school. I remember him beating up my high school, my high school uh, in the state finals and a few times. But um, that was a while ago. Uh, he, he has he has grown and matured a lot. Um, you know, and I, I th- really think we're thinking about good things, big things for him this year. What are your impressions of the running back situation right now? <clears throat> Uh, there's a bunch of them, and you know that's a, that's one of the tougher positions I think on the field because the one position that takes the most hits, and uh, the guy's got to keep on getting up and keep on coming back after it and wearing people out. Uh, I think we've got a group of guys that that are very impressive, and and I'll be curious to to really see how they stand out when uh, you know we get to the scrimmages and the things that are really live. It seems like each of those guys has different qualities. Is that something where a running back by committee approach might be the best thing? You know what? You, you never know. That's that's the thing. It's it's when when you get your opportunities, you got to take advantage of them. And if you take advantage of them, obviously there'll be more opportunities. So, um, you know, there's there's no substitute for competition. Can you sense those guys realizing that it's competitive back there? I think so. I mean, I think you know, I don't think you come to Ohio State and don't think you're going to compete at every position, but most especially sometimes at the at the running back spot. And uh, you know, I think they all uh, enjoy it. I think they all thrive off it. And now we just got to see who can step up. There were a number of guys that sat out today. Are, are there any injury concerns you have that might be serious? Not, maybe nothing I'm open? concerned about. Okay. Two more questions, folks. Two and done. Luke, is there anything just, you know, you're at this point in camp, running your first camp, is, are there things that you've had to tweak as you go, or do you feel like the way things have progressed, this is sort of the plan that you had in place when, when camp started? I think there's always little things you got to tweak and, and, you know, just – you know, I guess it's a feel, and I, I haven't done it nearly as much, obviously. Um, but, you know, you, you just get some in, input from some different people, and whether it's your own coaches, whether it's uh, people on the outside. And, and you know what, you just got to have a gut feeling, and you got to make some decisions. And, uh, you know, you got to know the guys you're working with. And I think that's probably, uh, as a coaching staff, that's been the best thing is, is uh, the stability we've had knowing those guys for nine years, um, but also to know the players. And you know who you can read and uh, – Who's wearing down, and it isn't just a mental thing. Um, so you got to; those are the things I think that's different for me. That I got to really, really watch um, to be able to tweak things. How have, you, how have you balanced everything, just in terms of again, you know, watching the film after practice of other groups, and still, you know, getting home in a normal time? I mean, have you figured sort of all that part of it out yet, or are you still feeling that out? Still feeling it out. I mean, it's it's uh, you know, it's a work in progress, and I, I don't know if I don't know that I found that balance that I said is so is so key. Um, but uh, hopefully, you know, continue to do it. And, you know, it might be a little overkill right now, but, you know, I'm figuring out what's best for me and what's best for this team and what's best for our staff. And, uh, you know, I also got to remind myself what's best for the family at times too. But um, they know the situation. And, uh, you know, we're going to do it the way, the way we think it needs to be done. How late you stay in most nights? Well, really, oh, that's really a big deal. But I'm, I'm usually stay at the hotel. So 
um, you know, I'm around those guys as much as I possibly can. Thanks, Lou. Thanks, sir. Thanks.